a decade of entrepreneurship in the Arab world is summarized in one graphical timeline prepared by Wanda at Area 2071. It's part of a major event being done hosting Fadi Ramdour, Ronaldo from Souk, Rabi Ataya from Beit, and Magnus from Karim. Thank you for coming to listen to people who were there 10 years ago and who are building the businesses of your future. A lot of this started back in 2009. I remember the first uh, Arab net that I was a part of. The different members of the Arab world came to Beirut. It was such a tight and close knit community. I also got to meet uh, Fadi Randur. That's the first time I met Fadi Randur. And he was talking about how we cannot wait for others to create opportunities for us and how uh, small businesses are the people who employ the most in total across the Arab world not the large corporations, and how we should push further with that. We think our founders and our entrepreneurs need to have a lot of support, need to have mentors, need to have all sorts of other supports than simply money. Uh, step launched at Make Make Business Hub, for those who remember, it was, it was a very trendy uh, location for uh, the small community of entrepreneurs and uh, uh, people who are involved in tech to come together. Flat 6 now has different locations uh, out of Cairo, and then they have Abu Dhabi, and Tunis, and Bahrain, and Beirut. And they've been helping at the seed level, and they've, and they've had their own uh, fund as well. Beit and Gonabit, I haven't thought about Gonabit in a very long time. It was a big deal in 2011, and it was one of the initial models. There was a business called Gonabit, which was another part of the sort of Beit Mafia, which one year to the date after starting it, we sold it. Uh, one year on, uh, the people who bought it from us shut it down. The 4G is a definite big driver for uh, connectivity and communication. Keeping in mind that uh, we're looking at here, we're still at 2G, 3G uh, in different parts of the Arab world, and it was still okay to get started. The acquisition of uh, Zawiya by Reuters always comes up, but uh, 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 it comes up on Twitter. I come across it as a reminder saying, uh, we know that you're talking about Karim and Souk, however, this was also one of the early acquisitions to be discussed. I think because it's a lot more on the media, uh, more on the media side and, the, uh, and less on the uh, consumer, so B B2B side, less on the uh, B2C consumer side, I think that's also a driver of why people tend to forget that. Uh, the Dubizil acquisition and the finalization here uh, in 2018 is also one of the key aspects in the, in the country of having the business which started also, you know, 10, 11 years ago. The acquisition of Talabat has the, is one of the other big drivers of entrepreneurship and especially out of Kuwait uh, for food related acquisitions. So this is also why you have uh, multiple exits out of Kuwait that are food related such as the 2017 uh, acquisition of, of, of Carriage by Delivery Hero. So looking at 2016, this is where uh, the rays of Karim put it in the unicorn status. But I, I tell people, you need to be crazy about the customer, right? That's the only thing you have. You need to get people to love you. So we have this group, we never miss the booking. You have three scheduled bookings, so we had two hours to find a car. Sometimes there was no cars available. We called the hotels, we took a car, we called the golf clubs, we stopped cars on the road, we did whatever we had to do. Never and definitely with the 2030 and the Dubai Future Foundation, these are large government initiatives that are being driven in order to have hubs for uh, driving entrepreneurship and innovation uh, throughout the different, uh, different countries. And they're looking at impacting millions of people. So they're not looking only to nurture small startups and businesses. They're looking at technologies that can uh, definitely grow and impact uh, uh, millions of people globally. Area 271 falls within the uh, large-scale initiatives of government, their mandate is towards impacting billions of people. So one billion and above is their target, which is strongly ambitious, and, and that's why they're working on, on, on attracting uh, different uh, talent from uh, different parts of the world. The soup acquisition is definitely one of the key drivers, so our Titan soup and our, uh, our Titan Kareem is definitely one of the big drivers along with Noon driving uh, innovation and competition within that, uh, within that sector, and that ties into Amar's uh, acquisition of, uh, of Nemshi as well. 
uh, with, with ADGM. They've been working on many different initiatives uh, for, uh, especially when it comes to fintech and uh, positioning Abu Dhabi as a hub for uh, entrepreneurship and startups as well. The Titan Kareem being uh, formally acquired in 2019, and uh, an Egyptian exchange having uh, having Fodi uh, listed on it. One big summary of a map of what a decade of entrepreneurship looks like.